Hi there, good afternoon guys. My name is John Griffiths. I'm the Managing Director of Raven Plastics. We're a precision engineering company specialising in aerospace, automotive and power generation work. And what I've got here today is the Pearson Work Holding, which we've actually purchased through the States. And what I'm going to do is go through the benefits I hope to actually expect over the obviously the coming months. So it comes with a Pearson Work Holding palette, which I imagine you've actually seen viewed on YouTube and Google and through the Pearson Work Holding website. It comes with the filtration, which is really the keystone to the unit, which is an on and off input and output valve. It comes with adapters. If you're actually based in the States, it's gonna be different adapters to Raven Plastics based in the UK. It comes with a great deal of tubing for the air compressor, and it comes with two pallets. So you can do anything with these pallets, you can mount a vise, or you can actually, Raymond Plastics, me personally, what I'm going to be doing is applying low profile clamping, such as the Mighty Bite, to maximize the footprint of the machine. So when you open the footprint of the machine, and you see two curved vices operation one and two, you can do the exactly same principles, but maximizing the footprint of the machine. So think of this as a plain canvas, where you can make it your own and tailor it towards your application. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. Take the tubing, apply to the adapter, apply the opposite side tubing to the input of the Pearson work holding, which is always to the right. So as you open the machine, this is going to be facing you, so the air pressure is going to come from the right and the left is actually going into the Pearson work holding pallet. Pearson work holding pallet has a UK adapter at the back in the States, it may vary. To apply a blank tube in there. And the opposite end, apply to the output of the Pearson work holding. Then simple, plug it in to the air presser. A successful installation would be you pull up and the ball bearings despring. I see that. So despring, and when you apply pressure, they spring out. Let's try that again. Pull up, despring, push back, all bones are solid. So what the plan is, once you despring, you can actually put this base plate over the top, apply the pressure again, and it locks into this section here, locking this plate into place. So I'll go through this with you. Despring. push out the ball bearings and that's solid so what you need to think to yourself is if you've got both of these with pre-loaded blanks and this one has been loaded with all your desirable low profile clamps it's actually got edge clamps whatever suits your application that's solid that's machining this one's actually waiting outside the machine you despring lift that up put it on the side ready to unload all the finished components and then replenish it with stock. You take the one, which you've actually pre-loaded outside the machine, put it into place, start button, close the door, press the go button, and obviously the machine obviously to your desirable uh, components. And then just keep the ball rolling. So Raven Plastics, what we're hoping to do is expect a 300% uh, improvement with regards to machine utilization and efficiency and obviously stay tuned to this channel and we'll let you know how we get on if you've actually got a store and you've purchased Pearson work holding and obviously tell us about it actually let's create a form room actually via our YouTube channel so stay tuned